Hi everyone, George here. Beautiful day here in Huntingdon, England, UK. I'm at one of my favourite aquascaping shops and it only happens to be about three kilometres or two miles from my house. And I'm going to give you a tour. I've not been here for a while. In fact, today I'm doing a workshop which will be live streamed. I'll just take you around, show you the displays. They're looking really, really good. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Pay attention throughout the whole video. Try and watch it all to the end because I'm going to ask you which is your favourite scape and more importantly, why? So regular viewers to my channel will be more than aware of Aquarium Gardens. A fair few videos from uh, this beautiful little store. In fact, it's not so little anymore, it's expanded. It used to be just the one unit and now it's three. So real reflection of the success of the store and also um, hopefully a reflection of uh, aquascaping becoming more popular in general. So let's just have a quick overview. You can see the beautiful sort of displays in the showroom here and this is the aquascaper 600 that i will be scaping later as i say as part of a live stream by the time this video is released that will all be done and dusted i might even be able to sneak a little quick clip of the uh of the final result at the end of this video so we'll see how we go so mostly aquascaper aquariums from evolution aqua all rimless hoodless we don't like rims and hoods in aquascaping generally speaking and you can just see they're immaculately maintained uh, by Steve mostly Steve are you doing most of the maintenance these days yeah, yeah? I used to maintain them uh, almost every week for a year or so um, but other sort of jobs came along and um, handed over the baton to Steve say hello Steve Hi. some of you may recognize Steve from his epic home tanks as well so I'm going to show you the plants because they've got they've as I say they've expanded and they've opened up this whole next unit just for plants and uh, hard a lot more hardscape as well. So just really nicely laid out, really neat and tidy in little kind of greenhouses. These little grow tents, all hydroponically grown. So the plants are actually growing in here not like a lot of retailers where the plants are kept underwater and uh, they're luckily if they're growing um more than likely they're slowly dying and getting algae so this is definitely the best way in my opinion for retailers to keep their plants awesome selections must be 100 120 species at any one time available here all really thriving and uh and they use uh Crown gardens use a combination of suppliers Aquaflora, Tropica, Aquadip, Aquafleur. So, uh, like I say, a really, really wide variety of species available. And it looks like they're really well stocked for the event today. So, it's really cool. And it's just so handy having this shop really local to me. It really does make a difference. So let's go and check out the dry goods. Uh, I think this is the one of the only shops that I know of that has two dry scaping areas. So they've got a 120 centimetre here, uh, which is four feet. And then there's a, a two and a half feet, 80 centimetre version here. And this is great. So you can, you know, hardscape isn't necessarily cheap, but it is really important investing in decent hardscape. And you know, you obviously want that hardscape to look great for your aquascape so rather than you know risking buying stuff that you might not use you can physically have a play with it practice take photos get the staff in the store get Dave or Steve to give you a hand if you're a beginner and you can you know make sure you go out buy the right stuff and it's going to be usable for your aquascape at home so I think these are a great idea and I'd really strongly recommend any retailers that are watching this that they need to consider doing something similar. Amazing array of the Tropica 1-2 Grow here. They've also got some Aquaflora tissue culture as well, the laboratory grown plants. Massive fan of the 1-2 Grow in particular. Uh, just really good value for money. You get so many more plants versus a normal pot. They're just much smaller. So more dry goods up here. We've got some glassware. normal kind of, sort of fertilizers. Uh, Aquarium Gardens now does a 
a small selection of the ADA products there. We've got some liquid fertilizers, some nice soils, and uh, some of the cosmetic sands as well, which are very attractive. Um, what else have we got? More fertilizers, more cosmetic gravels and sands. You know, it's really great to see an aquarium store which isn't stocking fluorescent, coloured or cheesy ornaments, I've got to say. So more soil, more fertilizers. Is my favourite. Aquascope complete liquid plant food. So yeah, it's a general kind of overview. Got oh, let's check out the hardscape. Amazing selection, different types of wood, different rocks, huge pieces of bogwood here. So something for all budgets, all tastes, whether you've got like a tiny nano aquarium or a huge six footer or whatever, always something for everyone. So let's take a quick look at the scapes and I want you to really pay attention to these because I am going to ask you at the end what's your favourite and why. I do read all of your comments so please let me know. This is amazing. Now I remember Dave when he first set this up it was a real algae nightmare. We used to get algae on the rocks, algae on the plants, blackbeard algae. It was a nightmare, but look how clean it is now. It is looking amazing. Now, I spoke to Dave yesterday and he says it's a result of the snails. So we stocked neonite snails in there, which are doing their job really well at keeping those, those rocks super clean. So top tip for you guys, if you're struggling with uh, keeping your rocks clean, then it might be time to think about investing in some near right snails. Beautiful black neon tetras, really suit this scape really well. Combination of mosses, is it, what moss is this Dave in here? Mini Christmas moss. Mini Christmas moss, beautiful, that's quite rare isn't it? Yeah. Um, beautiful, we've got some Eleocaris in the foreground, uh, got some Ricardia, just a really beautiful I love this, the fine textures really, really give this beautiful sense of scale, awesome. The tank itself is a TMC signature, I think these are dis discontinued now, shallow, so it's 30 centimetres or one foot tall, two foot long and 18 inches or 45 centimetres front to back, Twinstar 600E, got the good old Neo diffuser there on the right, awesome in tank diffusers, probably the best on the market. Got a twin star M5 in there as well to help help hopefully inhibit the green algae and also to enrich with more oxygen. Moving over, we have Aquarium Garden's own brand of Opti White Tank. Uh, what size is this, Dave? Is this a 45 centimetre? 45 by 27 centimetres by 30 high? 27 high, 22, front to back. Um, you do the maths for the if you're imperial. This is lovely. This is like a stream, river style aquascape. Um, beautiful use of what, what rocks are these, Dave? Uh, Yangtze stones and uh, with the little sort of branches of the Redmore root there, which really give the colours work really well. So you've used these graded gravels with the Yangtze stone and the Redmore, and you've got this real nice orange hue and that contrasts really nicely with the green plants. We've got Valisneria nana in the back there, some Helianthum tenalum, and then we've actually got some floating plants on the top there, so some Salvinia aracolatus, I think it's called, aracolata, which is the Tropico one to grow. Again, this is the Twin Star light unit, the 450E, and actually I think this is dialed down using an inline dimmer. So beautiful scape. Um, very much a kind of biotope style, I would say. Not a strict biotope, but that kind of theme of trying to recreate a natural habitat. So moving on to a couple of Aquascaper 300 cubes. Uh, these both, oh no, one on the right is non-CO2, and then the one on the left is CO2. And you can see the difference in the kind of lushness of the plants. So if you ever needed any evidence that CO2 is great for plant growth, then there is your evidence just there. So, uh, what other plants have we got in here? Hydrocotyle, tripartita, we're in a bit crazy. Some Christmas moss, some nice hardscape. And then over to the left, this is much more lush. Got the Neo diffuser there on the left. Some beautiful use of mosses again. I think this might be in the mini Christmas again. I really love this, I might have to nick some of this from Dave. And then we've got some Matogrosensa 
Mirio Film stem plant in the back there. There's some nice really shrimp. Beautiful scape, really like this. Nice attention to detail. Buca Philandra is there in the foreground attached to the rocks and the wood. Really lovely. Now this is arguably one of the strongest scapes in the shop, I would say. It's probably one of my favourites. And it is the Aquascaper 900. This was Aquascape by Philippe Oliveira. Oliveira, I could never pronounce his name. Do apologise, Philippe, if you're watching. And cl yeah, classic triangular layout, but just check out those complex textures and colours. Heavy use of stem plants and epiphyte plants in combination to create this epic, lush, beautiful aquascape. I absolutely love this. It's kind of my style, a bit more complex than what I would do at home because I just don't have time to maintain such a such a complex layout with all those stem plants. Um, but the colours are insane and I would suggest the colours are down to this light here. So this is called the Max Light. Um, I forget the model name, but Master Pro. And this is a 90 watt unit. And it's similar, it's similar in my opinion, in terms of color rendition to the ADA Solar RGB. Uh, I'm not sure of the price point. I'm, I'm guessing it's quite high end. Do you have an idea on price, Dave? Going to be a similar price to the Solar RGB, which at the moment in the UK will probably be retailing between eight and nine hundred Great British pounds. But just check out. I'm not going to colour grade this video at all. This is straight from my iPhone Seven, and just check out those reds. It's insane. I don't think the camera can actually handle that much red. That is insane. Really, really beautiful. So it's a 90 watt unit. So it is a high, high power light. Does it have an app control, Dave? No, so just on and off, is it? Oh, okay, six different settings, that's cool. Got the skimmers, I think most of the tanks in here are running some form of skimming. Fish-wise, really great combination of the Ember Tetras and the Celestial Pearl Danios there. They absolutely love it in here. Colours are insane. Testament, uh, and we only use, you only use dry foods? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan of dry foods. Uh, good the, the dry foods now available are just so good quality. So little kind of not using much bulking agents, just really high nutritional value for less for least amount of waste. Uh, got the another Neo diffuser there pumping out quite a large, a large amount of CO2 for, for obvious reasons. A lot of plants in there and lots of light, so we need to balance that out. But yeah, I think yeah, this is probably actually my favourite scape in the store right now. What do you guys think? Epic, isn't it? Okay, let's move over to the, what the guys called the Beast. So this is an Aquascape of 1500 Evolution Aqua lit with two Twin Star 600 SPs which are hanging from the Evolution Aqua lighting hanging kit. And this is around 125 US gallons or 500 litres. Just check out the size of these, <laughs> these Trident ferns absolutely mega so this was set up over, well over a year ago now isn't it 14 months yeah 13 14 months so we, we i escaped this and uh, as part of a workshop and as you can see it's mature beautifully i'll leave a link actually to the uh to a couple of videos i've done a few videos on this now um now they have just stripped out a load a cut back a load of crypts in the background which is why you've got so much negative space there in the back but it is amazing, and I just, <laughs> I just want to show you this, guys. Check out this Cryptocoryne Pepchi, actually growing immersed out of the top. How beautiful does that look? Amazing. And it's running the Aquascaper glass pipe work set there uh, with the surface skimmer. These work really well. Uh, Fish-wise, we've got the Harlequin Rasboras, absolute classic. For any nature aquarium, you can't go wrong with these. These, these suit almost any aquascape I would say. Uh, we've got a, a probably eight or ten species of Cryptocoryne in there. We've got uh, Cryptocoryne parva in the foreground, uh, looks like Willisii, some different Wendatiis, some Myoya, Tropica, brown, green, uh, you name it, there's probably pretty much every one, you know, every crypt available from the, from the Tropica range for sure. But the Trident ferns are just what we call hench, they're just massive, they look beautiful. Let's give you a bit more of a, 
a wider angle view from it so you can appreciate it in situ. So uh, arguably the two strongest scapes in the store, I would say the 1500 and the 900, or maybe the shallow, maybe uh, the Iwagumi here. Have a think guys, and when you do comment, let me know why it's your favourite. I always, I always love reading your comments and it's really interesting to hear different people's kind of viewpoints. And again, another beautiful scape. We are sport for choice here, aren't we? So this was set up originally by Yuri's. This was over a year ago, Dave. January, January, so j just under a year. So 11 months old, still going strong. Beautifully maintained there with the open substrate kind of island effect with the dragonstone. It's stunning, I really love it. It looks great in the video. It looks better in the video than it does in real life. Amazing. Again, the Neo Diffuser, surface skimmer, small, small external filter. Hel Helianthum, Tenalum at the front there. Uh, we've got some Micranthum and Monte Carlo creeping. Is it Monte Carlo or Hemianthus? It looks quite small leaves for Monte Carlo. It is Monte Carlo. Doing really nice, lo lovely lush growth. Uh, Rotala Hatra in the back, drooping down. Looks absolutely like cascading down these rocks. What a beautiful concept. Love it. And then we'll just move past this one. I think this is a work in progress. Now this is an interesting one. They've just literally fitted a new light last night. I did pop in yesterday just to prepare for the workshop. And they've fitted the flat one by ONF. And you can just see how intense those greens are. A very powerful unit. This is 70 watts. So you will need to balance that out. You know, such high lighting with decent amounts of CO2 fertilizers, circulation and maintenance. Otherwise you will run into algae problems. So plant-wise, we've got some Eleocaris Mini, which has been struggling. I think that's why they've upgraded the lights. Got some Hydrocotyl verticalata, which is this round leaf kind of mushroom effect plant. Some small crypts, looks like Glutea Hobbit. Some uh, Wender Ti, looks like Wender Ti uh, Brown there on the side, or Tropica. Some Hydrocotyl Tripartita, some nice beautiful mosses, Bulbitis. And interesting fish selection. We've got some of the golden sort of white cloud mountain in those cherry barbs. So again, Aquascaper 600. It is a real showcase for the Aquascaper aquariums, the showroom. I did help develop these in combination with Evolution Aqua. We started that a couple of years ago. And yeah, really, really nice tanks. Good quality, low iron, rimless. So this again is one of the, arguably the shop's best scapes. Honestly, they're all such a high standard, I'm really struggling to choose. Um, Dave set this up how long ago? Over a year ago, 14. 14 months ago. Classic, wow, two islands, really nice use of the pathway there with the white sand going in between. And another fine example of how to use Trident Fern. And it's just absolutely stunning really healthy plant growth loads of nice buca philandrias this is like a buca philandria down here which i'm not i think it i can't remember the name of it i think it might be a rare one that was imported from asia uh, but let me know in the comments guys uh, can you id this this book that'd be that'd be uh, handy beautiful fish choice with the cardinal tetras there contrasting wonderfully with the greens of the ferns etc and then quite a Quite a uh, daring move, I would say, with the use of the white sand. What do you guys think? Too contrasting or does it work really well? Let me know what you think. So, glass pipe work set there again. Keeping the surface super clean, super, super transparent. No surface scum building. Rio film there in the background again. And yeah, just a beautiful scape. Now let's give you a whole kind of impression of all the, all the scapes in one kind of view and then you can really get a sense of the impact of the showroom. Excuse the plant box on the left, that's for me later on. Beautiful. Okay guys, so have a think. 
Let me know in the comments what's your favourite escape and why. And check out the Graham Gardens YouTube channel. Dave's uh, doing some more content lately. Uh, really nice, really nice videos. Very kind of tutorial based. So all about spreading the love of aquascaping. Okay, so as promised, here is the final result of the aquascaping workshop using five pieces of Frodo stone and a large collection of the Tropica 1-2 grow. These are exclusively Tropica 1-2 grow plants and so are very small at the moment, but in a matter of a few days they're going to start growing and hopefully looking great. It's going to be quite a colourful aquascape and something really different to what I'm usually creating, so really looking forward to seeing how this one develops. So let me, let me know what you think guys and check out the live stream. I'll leave a link at the top and in the description right now. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment, what's your favorite? You take care, keep on scaping. Cheerio.